It's the middle of March and female Tony Alboni is sat on four eggs. For the next 32 days, she barely leaves the nest, keeping her clutch warm, whatever the weather. Her partner, Ozzy, provides her with food. Soon, he's delivering more rats, mice and voles than she needs. So Bonnie stores this surplus in the nest. This is known as a food cache. Perhaps they know the eggs are close to hatching. The following day, Bonnie stands to reveal a pip in an egg which develops into a large crack and soon she pulls the shell away. When she leaves she reveals her first outlet. Its eyes are closed, it can barely hold its own head up and it huddles into the eggs to keep warm. Later that day, Bonnie stands and shows off a second chick. I can see it's still wet, so it hasn't been out of the egg long. When she leaves, I get a great view of these two outlets. And there's the third one, pipping its way out. Three hours later, she removes the eggshell and breaks it up, adding to the nest floor. There must be three chicks under her now, but I don't catch a glimpse yet. Ozzy arrives with a rat. When he delivers it, he realises the chicks have hatched and is keen to try and see them. It's a tender moment. But he's sent out to hunt. And Bonnie feeds the chicks for the very first time. Clearly spurred on by his newly hatched owlets, Ozzy makes several food deliveries, which Bonnie stores carefully. With four potential owlets to feed, she's going to need all the food she can get. Eventually, two days after the third owlet hatched, Bonnie leaves the nest, and there's a fourth chick. Bonnie hasn't had this many chicks before. For the last few years, she's only had two. So I'm conscious there's a lot of mouths for Bonnie to feed in this super brood. Morning arrives and I get the first glimpse of her chicks in daylight. Not long after, I notice some jackdaws entering the wood. A flock of jackdaws is known as a murder. That's for a reason. This could spell trouble. 
Three jackdaws are looking for somewhere to nest. They're known to fill nests with sticks, regardless of who's inside. They investigate the entrance. And when they return, the onslaught begins. The sticks could injure them, putting these chicks' lives at risk. Or prevent Bonnie from brooding properly. And at worst, they could bury this new family alive. Thankfully, the jackdaws soon leave. Perhaps they've got another site elsewhere. Bonnie's not pleased with the mess they've made. But it doesn't stop attending to a large brood of owlets. After a difficult day, Bonnie heads out to the pond to clean off. The four owlets huddle together for warmth, but the pond isn't far from the nest. Bonnie doesn't leave them for long. When the day breaks, the jackdaws are back. This is a worrying sign. The first sticks are dropped. And Bonnie tucks the chicks beneath her for safety. The jackdaws return every few minutes. Bonnie's looking stressed. Now the outlets are bigger, Bonnie guards the entrance, showing this nest is taken. And the jackdaws leave. She looks relieved. She's got enough on her plate with this large brood. The owl chicks are now a week old and they've grown so much. They're even able to sit upright, but their eyes are still shut. Later that night, Ozzy enters the nest without food. It looks like he's come to see the owlets. Bonnie quickly sends him away. I think the food cache has run out. Ozzy returns with a large rat. But surprisingly, he disappears into the wood behind. Bonnie needs this food to feed the owlets and head straight off after him. Thankfully, she returns with the rat. But I'm surprised she had to do this. He usually delivers straight into the nest. Bonnie feeds the hungry chick straight away. With all four owlets growing fast, there's less room in the nest. Bonnie's brooding is more like crowd surfing. Now their pin feathers have come through and they start to stretch their wings. And within a week, their eyes are open. They're standing up and moving around. Ozzy delivers some prey. And 
and one of the chicks manages to swallow it whole, which is so great to see. But because the outlets are so big, I'm concerned his deliveries are just not enough. Bonnie starts to hunt now too. But even this is not sufficient. The chicks are clearly still hungry. So I'll give this large brood a helping hand, providing a handful of mice each day. Which they seem to be thankful for. This large brood is taking its toll on Bonnie. The owlets are nearly as big as her. She's done an amazing job getting this large brood to this stage. I'm hoping she'll have enough energy to get them through this next week, when they'll be taking their first flights out into the world beyond the nest. Next time, Watch as these four owlets get their identification rings and spend their first days outside of the nest. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.